Hi, Greg Lewis, Metastock Software. Hey, you're about to watch one of the great presentations from our recent online trader summit. I know you're going to enjoy it. If you do not yet have Metastock, make sure you visit metastock.com slash traders dash summit three for one for a great three for one offer for Metastock plus market data. Also, make sure to listen to Jeff Gibby at the end of today's presentation. He has a really great offer. It's very exciting and I know you're gonna uh, wanna hear it. Uh, finally, make sure to leave us some feedback. We always wanna hear your feedback and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much and successful trading. Our next speaker we've been working with also for a number of years. Uh, what I'm going to say about Vince is uh, I also really, really like Vince. That's why he was invited today. Um, the things that I like about Vince is he, he has a way to, of taking very, uh, let's say, um, kind of more uh, – he, he has a way of simplifying technical analysis into a way that's very rule-based and um, that's very, very followable. Um, people, uh, we've been selling his systems for a number of years now, and uh, I, I can still say that I've never really heard anyone complaining about uh, Vince or the quality of service that they offer or, you know, uh, the systems that he offers. Um, he just, he runs a very, very good shop. We love working with him. Um, he does a great job. And uh, I've learned a lot actually working with him as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead and bring him online. Uh, uh, Vince. Good morning, Jeff. Can you hear me? How are you doing this morning? Sorry, we're running a little bit late, but um, we should be okay. I scheduled in a break so we could catch up. At... <laughs> no, worries. no worries at all. I was, I, I was actually enjoying Steve's session, and uh, the jokes never get old. So <laughs> I was, I was glad no. to be on for it. Um, uh, the, my mouse is running a little bit, so I'm trying to turn the presentation over to you right now. <laughs> but uh, no for worries. some reason, I'm having a little bit of a slowdown. So. Uh, maybe the the skies are uh, punking me a little bit now. Okay, excellent. Well, thanks for having me back on. I, I really appreciate this. Uh, it's always fun to to be part of this this type of event, and uh, <clears throat> I'm obviously in in great company with the the other speakers that that you have on today. So I'm glad to uh, come on and talk about veracity this morning. The floor is yours. Go for it. Okay, excellent. Welcome everybody. Uh, good to be here with you on a Saturday morning. And uh, I did want to share my Veracity system with you. Um, <clears throat> I've been, I, I mean, this has been in the works for me for over 20 years, but uh, we have now been sharing it with the public for several years. And uh, it's been extremely consistent uh, uh, across the board when, in all types of markets. But we'll get into several examples and I'll tell you how this all came about and uh, and go over many, many markets. But uh, again, really glad to be here with you. Please do remember that the markets uh, tra and trading can be risky, so please don't trade with real money until you are completely comfortable. Um, Jeff, I'm not sure, I, I'm hearing some background noise, not sure if there's another mic open or not, just uh, you may wanna double check. Um, as uh, as Jeff said, I am Vince Warren, I'm the head trader here, Trading Wins, and I've been doing this for over 30 years. I am the developer of, of uh, Veracity, and um, <clears throat> uh, Metastock has been a fantastic partner of ours. They're, they're fantastic. Jeff and his team helped design the Veracity indicator that I'm going to show you, and I think they did a great job. Um, in today's presentation, what I'm going to start with is actually my, my uh, money management rules. I use these every day in my trading, and uh, I never think it's fair for me to share a strategy with you or, or offer an indicator to you without the money management rules. I think this is a core piece of the trading plan overall. And without it, I think you'd have a, a difficult time, um, you know, actually having success with it. So I'm gonna start off with those. Then we're gonna talk about the components of the Veracity system. Really, this was the search for the Holy Grail for me. And this is as, as close as I think I'm gonna get. Um, and, uh, uh, I'm not only going to tell you how it works, but how I think it can work for you. And along the way, or especially at the end, I'd be happy to answer as many of your questions as as I can. So let's get started with the money management rules. 
there are five simple rules and the first one you may scoff at laugh at whatever it is uh it's actually very important i find and especially over the past few years uh that i've been coaching individuals and I, i've i've literally coached hundreds if not thousands um most of the mistakes happen when someone's not quite feeling well that day when you're feeling quite off or you're distracted that's when mistakes happen so not only do i want you to trade with a positive mindset but i want you to make sure you're feeling up to it that day and feeling well if you're not turn the laptop off and walk away you'll save yourself a lot of money by doing that um secondly you know what trading really is about is how you manage the order once you place it. It's not just finding that entry, the exit, and Veracity is going to do that for you. Veracity is going to tell you exactly when you should get in and when you should get out. But it's how you manage that order that matters. And so, in order for you to manage it appropriately, you really should trade with an amount that feels completely insignificant to you. In other words, when you are worried about the amount of money you have in a trade you cannot manage it appropriately you're not going to think clearly you're going to forget some of your rules you're 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 not going to treat it properly you're going to panic out of that order at some point so for some of you that amount that feels insignificant could be a couple hundred dollars it could be several thousand the amount doesn't matter what matters is that it feels insignificant to you okay now another way that we reduce risk in our training because one of the things you'll you'll find out about me if, if you haven't followed me before is that I'm an extremely extremely conservative trader. I absolutely hate risk. I'll do anything to avoid risk in a trade. And so one of the things I learned a long time ago is to limit the amount you put in any one trade. So at, at the absolute max what I will do is put 5% of my account balance in any one trade. But the real goal here is that as you grow your account, you want to lower that percentage. In other words, the bigger the account, the lower the percent per trade. That way you'll still have a sizable amount in every one trade, but the amount of risk you're taking overall is minuscule. And that alone will tie into to point number two, where, it, you know, Every trade will feel insignificant and you'll be able to manage it according to your plan. Now, there are things in the market that we have absolutely no control over. Uh, and I hate bringing this up, but the best example I can give you in my experience in the market uh, was 9-11. And those types of events we cannot control no matter what we do. So when and if something like that happens, you will take a hit now if you follow the man money management rules the hit you take will be small at that point but to to really um help ourselves uh, not only sleep at night but uh um survive in this game is to always keep 50 percent of your account balance in reserve in other words keep it in cash now you know, a lot of the feedback I get is, wow, you know, why would I keep 50% of my account just sitting there doing nothing? Well, first of all, um, it, it doesn't take a lot of money, especially if you're trading with options, to really take advantage of the market. And so the initial 50% that you do have active will be working quite well for you. But this is your plan B. This is your safety net. And should something happen, you will then have half your account that you can put back into the markets and make back that loss uh, fairly quickly. Now, lastly, but certainly not least, is the fact that you should spread your trades out. In other words, what I do is I, I will only choose one or two of the highest probability trades uh, that I find um, per time frame. okay? So on a day where the Dow might be up 300, the S&P up 25, for example, the NASDAQ's up 100, um, you're going to get a lot of setups to the long side. The last thing you want to do is jump in and buy six, seven, eight trades. And, and then the next day, the market completely reverses on you, which we've seen happen many times. You want to select the one or the two highest probability trade setups. And I'm going to show you how to do that with Veracity and, and, and spread your trades out. This will help you. Um, uh, not only succeed in the markets, but but be around 
for for many many years. Now, a couple other minor rules or sayings that that we use: uh, you'll never go broke taking profits. And the reason why I put this on the slide is for those of you who may just be starting out in trading. Uh, one of the more difficult things for a new trader to do is to remain in a trade for the life of that trade. In other words, most uh, you know new traders uh, tend to get out of a trade a little quicker uh, than they maybe should. Now, because I am as conservative as I am, the systems I, I design are very, very uh, safe to trade, very, very conservative. And you'll notice that as I show you the veracity examples. So we limit our risk considerably, which means at the very beginning, it's okay to take profits a little quicker. You'll still do very well. And what I want you to do is get used to banking those profits initially for a couple of reasons. Number one, it will help you grow your account which usually at the beginning is quite small. And so as it gets bigger, you'll gain more and more confidence. But by doing so and banking those winners, you're not only gonna gain confidence in the veracity system, but you're also gonna gain confidence in yourself as a trader, and that's gonna take you a long way. So don't be afraid to take profits initially. Uh, and then as you gain experience, you'll learn how to remain in the life of that trade uh, as you go on. Now, lastly, before I get to the charts, <clears throat> Uh, if there's one thing you take away from, from this webinar, it's this. Um, the, uh, trading is not about you. Okay? You really do. I'm sure you've heard this. Check your ego at the door before you sit down to trade. But this is not, okay, repeat, not, whether, and not about whether you're right or wrong. That's important. If you're in this to be the world's greatest stock picker, uh, you're in it for the wrong reasons. And I can almost uh, assure you, you'll, you'll lose money. What this is about is the control you have over your trades. In other words, this is about how much money you make when you're right versus how much money you lose when you're wrong. So it's all about execution. That's what this is about. It's about having a solid trading plan okay, and following it to a T. If you can follow all your rules of your trading plan and the trade is a loser, you, it, there's nothing that you can blame yourself for. You will have some losses along the way. Nothing is 100% accurate. It's all about execution. And if you just focus on following those rules in the long run, you will do extremely well. Okay? Now, let's talk about veracity and uh, the components of the system. So, first of all, there are a number of indicators and oscillators in here that over the years I have, uh, through trial and error, through through uh, back testing it through forward testing it, meaning with real money over many, many years in all types of markets and different time frames. I found a combination of indicators and oscillator, oscillators that when they line up, uh, they do so with a high degree of accuracy. Okay. So I know how well this works because I've, I've used it for as long as I have. My goal here today is to show you uh, exactly how this will work for you. Okay, so what it's designed to do is to catch the big moves. Okay, I've designed several systems over the years, and and many of you, because I I noticed some uh, some familiar names here uh, who have followed me uh, have heard of the other ones, the winning momentum strategy, my favorite trade setup, etc. The difference between those and Veracity is that Veracity was really designed to catch the big moves, but the key here is that while we, we catch, we're we catching the big moves, we're still able to keep losses small. In other words, it will get us out of a trade very quickly if it starts going against us without capping the gains. So we, we basically have, uh, you know, we can, we can, the sky's the limit as far as potential goes, profit potential goes, but we still maximize that safety component in each trade. And the key is always going to be uh, which markets you do trade on what time frame, et cetera. And really, it comes down to what you're comfortable with. And during uh, the demonstration, I'm going to show you as many examples as I can. So if any of you have any favorite symbols, 
any favorite stocks, futures, contracts, whatever it is that you like to, to trade. Even Bitcoin, believe it or not, we'll take a look at Bitcoin and show you exactly how this works on it. Okay, I see Kurt has already put in Micron. Absolutely, we'll look at, at Micron for you. Now, the real question here is, what can Veracity do for you? Okay, well, not only is it going to help you identify some pretty great trading opportunities in whatever time frame you want, but how many of you here actually are managing a retirement income, for example, a longer time? How many of you are more of investors than, than traders? Because if you are, um, this is something that I think is really, really going to help you out. Now, let me be clear. Veracity works on all time frames and all markets. It is based solely on technical analysis. There's no fundamentals in here. You can combine fundamentals with it if you want, but it's solely based on technical analysis. And what it does is it really takes advantage of trend and momentum in your favor. The, and as with any, as with any uh, trading system based on technical analysis, the higher the time frame, the more accurate it, it is. And you're going to see that it captures some pretty massive trades uh, on the long term uh, time frames, like the weekly and the monthly. And I'm going to show you. And along the way, when you know when you're when you're holding those, you could be collecting dividends, writing calls against it, you name it. Lastly, the other thing it does is it helps you predict major market moves. So, you know. It, you here on CNBC and many other financial uh, media outlets, how there are some analysts who have predicted every major market move since whenever, uh, you no longer have to try to uh, follow them or, or, or you know, hope to run across something like that. Veracity will do that for you, and I'll show you exactly how. So let me bring up my uh, Veracity, uh, my Metastock platform here, <clears throat> and what you're looking at is a plain chart of the spies, the S&P 500 on a monthly time frame. Now in a second, I'm gonna load the indicator on here. Um, but what one of the things I want you to focus on is the fact that on the template here, we are gonna have the 20 period simple moving average. That's what this blue line is, the 20 period simple moving average. And I just wanna briefly explain why we include that. As I said, uh, before trading with trend and momentum on your side really is uh, an advantage for you. It, it, you've already won half the battle just doing that. So we can all look at, at a chart and you know judge whether we have a solid trend in place. Um, you know when we have sufficient uh, history to look at. But momentum, momentum is usually judged. Um, on the slope of the price action here and the price bars. So, for example, you know, if if I if I'm looking down here or, or or up here and I draw a line across the bars here, right? That's a nice upward slope. That's a little more than say 45 degree angle, which would be considered a very significant slope higher. Now, the 20 period moving average does that for you, okay? So it kind of does that for you, but where it's a real advantage is whenever price pulls back, okay, whenever it retraces, it, and, and it usually does, it, it hardly ever goes in a straight line, it usually zigzags, and when it pulls back, if the 20 is not rolling over, you know, flattening out or rolling over completely, if it maintains its slope, it's helping you identify the fact that that pullback is temporary before a continuation of that move. So it, it just really, helps you judge the amount of momentum behind a move. And what you really want to focus on is on the slope of that 20. So you can have a gradual slope, you can have a bit more, or you can have very, very significant slope. And it works the same in both directions. So if you're in an uptrend, you want to see as much upward slope on that 20 as possible. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if you're in a, in a downtrend, you want to see as as sharp of a downward slope on that 20 as possible, okay? Now, let me just get rid of these lines and throw on the uh, veracity indicator and show you what we're looking at here. So let me go into the expert advisor here. There's veracity. 
attach. There it is. So now you're going to see a series of diamonds here, green and red, uh, these green arrows and red arrows, and then the little exit flags. <clears throat> what you're looking at here, the diamonds are giving you a heads up that there may be a trade setting up. Okay, that's that's your setup bar. Not every trade with a diamond triggers. Like you look back in here, there was a green diamond, but the trade never did actually trigger. It was not followed by an arrow. So when you see a diamond, it doesn't mean you just jump in and buy or sell. Um, it gives you a heads up that there may be a trade coming. Now, when it's followed by the arrow, the arrow's telling you that now it is time to either go long or short, okay? And obviously, if it's green, that means it's it's setting up to the long side. A green arrow is a trade to the long side, and then your exit flag is telling you when to get out, okay? Now, you'll also notice that through the life of the trade, the bars remain painted green, okay? That's, that's to help you remain disciplined and stay in the trade, okay? I love the way Jeff and his team designed this because it's not only um, giving you the accurate entries and exits, but it's really helping you with that, that discipline factor, right? That, that emotional factor that comes into your trading. If you were to see these bars, you know, you see a series of greens and then a big red bar going against you, you, you might start to question the trade. You might start to worry. You might panic out early. This way, with them remaining all green, you just kind of focus on the fact that you're good. Perhaps he's still telling you to stay in the trade and you're just going to sit and wait for that exit, okay? So it works the same on the short side. Um, when you're in a short trade, they're going to remain all red until it's time to exit, okay? Now, earlier I said you can use Veracity to predict the major market turns. This is a monthly chart of the spies. So you can see that um, uh, when we had that drop, yeah, in, in this particular instance, got us in a little later in the move. Um, but, and especially recently, been it's been doing a great job of calling uh, the, the market moves as we see it. And remember, the one feature it was designed for was to catch the big moves, okay? And here's that bull run since 2012. It got us out briefly. Remember I said it's very conservative? I hate risk, and it gets us out as quickly as possible when it's not going our way. So here, the mar all the markets did was consolidate sideways for a while, but it still got us out and then got us back in okay, for the next big move. Now, the idea behind Veracity is not to take every single uh, entry here, every single setup and every single trigger. That's not the idea here. The idea is to take the ones, remember that the one or two highest probability trade setups. So we do want to look at things like the slope, okay, on that moving average. You want to take the ones with as much slope in your favor as possible. So if on any given day you had seven or eight uh, trade setups, you want to compare those and choose the one that is giving you the highest probability. Uh, Paul is asking to see the spies on the daily. Absolutely. Let's first look at it on the weekly. There it is, and you can see how consistent the, the triggers are. Now, again, you may ask why during the stretch isn't it, does it not just keep me in the whole move? Why is it getting me out and back in, out and back in? Again, it's to be conservative. So we get in here, it gets us out before this sharp move uh, against us. Any first first initial sign of trouble, it gets us out. But as soon as it, it realizes the market's about to run again, it gets us back in. There are a number of indicators and oscillators behind here, and they have to line up perfectly in order for us to, to trigger a trade. But you can see that through the life of this big move, it caught the bulk of it. And these days, commissions are so inexpensive that it's really irrelevant. I much prefer not to sit through uh, and give up my profits here but rather take some and then get in for the next run, et cetera. Let's look at the daily chart of the spies. There it is. And every once in a while, you'll notice that, you know, it, it was setting up, it didn't trigger, we missed a bit of a move, but for the most part, 
You can look at as many charts as you like. For the most part, when there is a big move, it catches it, okay? And as we go through the different examples, okay, on all time frames, all markets, it doesn't matter. But as we go through the examples, I want you to focus on the symbols that have slope in the direction of the trade. In other words, if you look down in here on the bottom left, first of all, there are a number of diamonds that never triggered throughout this choppy period. Then there was one that, that triggered. But that 20 period was flat. So personally, you know, I wouldn't take that trade. Now, did it work out? Yes, it did. It doesn't matter. There are going to be so many trades to choose from that why worry about these ones when you have momentum in your favor okay and the more momentum you have the better so these are the ones you want to focus on you also want to focus on charts that are nice and clean and trending you want you want charts that have nice orderly uniform price bars N look at the recent activity since the end of january on the spies it's been all over the place right now it, th were there were there setups and triggers in here? Yes, there were. I can tell you we would not have traded any of them, okay? And we also, along with the indicator, will give you a recording of, of a pro class that, that we did where I teach you exactly which types of setups here you want to focus on and which ones you don't. There are reasons in here for not taking these trades, okay? It's just that we couldn't program everything into into the uh, uh, the indicator uh, because in taking out some of that criteria we would limit the number of of triggers we get for these big moves so we always want to capture the big moves and, and so I'm going to give you rules to follow along with the indicator that would avoid you from taking any any trades in here but the reason why you want to focus on strong trending charts is because they're easy to trade they're they are predictable okay you have trend and momentum on your side in here it's a choppy volatile mess and no matter where you get in your chances of getting stopped out are extremely high okay now let's start looking at a few examples let's start with mu i think it was paul that wanted mu let's put that symbol in there we go and let's start looking at mu so this is the daily chart of mu again focus on the trending areas when you have slope when you have slope, you'll notice it's going to be difficult to find a losing trade. You, you will have losing trades, no question about it. But these are the ones I want you to focus on. When the moving average is flat, okay, there are, there are some trades like this one here. This one here we would have taken, even though at the time it's flat. But there are specific rules behind that, and, and you'd capture that move. But in here, first of all, even if you did take every setup you'll notice that as soon as you get in and it goes against you to get you out so the losses would be extremely small compared to the winners okay but why do you want to spend your time chopping around in here when you can just focus on areas like this that's what you really want right so that's what you want to see uh, on these on these charts uh, now let's go through some of the more popular ones uh, TL is asking for the Qs, QQQ. Let's look at the Qs here. <clears throat> Again, there's the daily chart of the Qs. More recently, it's been a little more volatile, but it, it captures the bulk of those big moves. Let's look at the weekly chart here. There it is, nice and consistent, capturing those moves along the way. And let's look at the monthly chart. There it is. Okay, so now some of the bigger names, the FANG stocks. Uh, so let's see, someone's saying let's look at uh, the one minute chart. I believe you want to see. Let's have a look, see if there's anything on the one minute. You can, you can choose anything you want uh, on these. Okay, now when, if you look at the price bars for, for me, and, and you know, I think. Um, Stephen Bigelow just did a whole session on candlesticks, okay? So um, he, he's a real expert at it and, and can show you exactly what kind of candles you want to look at and what you don't. Um, so it's really, really uh, a benefit to combine 
systems like that. But just looking at this one minute chart on the queues here, I can tell there's not a whole lot of activities. These candles are really kind of odd looking. I'll stretch them out a little, okay? Even though the signals aren't bad here, you can see it captures most of the moves. These aren't exactly, this isn't the kind of look I, I would prefer to trade. Let's look at something a little different. Let's look at a few of the bigger names, the very popular names like NVIDIA, Amazon, uh, et cetera. Let's bring those in. Here's NVIDIA on the daily. Um, let's look a little further out and then we'll go down to uh, the lower time frames. Here's the weekly on NVIDIA, looks pretty good. Again, most of these down in here, when NVIDIA was a $10 stock and really wasn't moving, we would not have touched any of these. But as soon as we started getting some slope, as soon as we cleared all the highs of this consolidation pattern, and that is very key, and, and you'll notice it more on the monthly. Let me go to the monthly, see if it's on this chart. Yeah, here. So whenever, here's another tip for you. Whenever a stock consolidates, especially on a longer time frame okay and you'll see this a lot on stocks that have been beaten up and then start to recover more recently you can see it on an intel on a cisco on a city group uh vrx uh blackberry all of those names that were beaten up severely and then consolidated for many years and then start to recover one very simple thing you can do is throughout the whole area of consolidation here, which spans from basically 1999 here up until 2015 or so, just mark the highest point, okay? Which was back in here. Just mark the highest point. And if you break above that, I mean, that's, that's one of the easiest, easiest entries to take, okay? Now, a lot of times what you'll find is that veracity the signal, in this case, it even called it a little earlier, but it's usually right around here. And you'll notice it on stock after stock, and it's fantastic. And remember, I mentioned for those of you who are in this more for the longer term, right, uh, who have an, uh, a retirement account that you're managing, you're going to see some amazing setups on um, the monthlies. Imagine holding leaps, fairly inexpensive leaps here throughout this. Imagine writing calls against this, collecting dividends if you actually own the stock. There's so many things you can do with this. But let's go back to the shorter time frames. So let's look at NVIDIA on a one minute chart. There it is on a one minute. What you need is volume when you're day trading, right? You need stocks that are heavily traded. Let's look at the five minute chart on NVIDIA. And there you go, some pretty nice signals. The bigger moves, it catches. OK, um, again, you can look at just about everything. I promise to show you Bitcoin. Now, I am not a Bitcoin guy. I'll I'll throw that out there. I know nothing about Bitcoin. I'm an old old timer in this market and I just stick to what I know, which is, is mostly equities. All right. So I have not dove into the big, big game, uh, Bitcoin game, but let's have a look at Bitcoin here. I believe this is the symbol. <clears throat> Let's bring in more data. Here's Bitcoin. So since, uh, I don't know, uh, mid-2016, it hasn't been doing so well, right? But you can see the signals on Veracity pretty good, right? So this wasn't designed for just, you know, one type of market or that sort of thing. It's all about technical analysis. So it will work on, on just about anything, all right? Um, and several of you are asking for GE. Let's look at GE here and see how GE did. Now we know it's been getting beaten up. There you go, I'll, I'll zoom out a little so you can see it a little clearer. But you know, it, it calls the, these moves very, very nicely. It really does. Um, and you know, again, the, the idea is not to take every trade. There's the weekly and there's a nice big move here, okay? Um, let's see if there's anything on the monthly. And the other thing you wanna do, whenever you see a setup for veracity, is you wanna look back, okay? You wanna look back, look at the previous setups and triggers and see how they worked out, 
did they work out well did they not there are going to be markets that don't respond as well and there's going to be others that just work fantastic with it you know one stock i i really love is a biomed a bmd i dream about this one at night it, it's it's fantastic so let's zoom out this is the daily chart look how well it's been calling these moves there's the most recent one still in that trade okay um it's it's just fantastic and it doesn't matter what time frame you look at it, it you know and here here's a great example far left back in november of 2015 right after it cleared the highs of that consolidation zone it gave us our first trigger okay now that was a valid trigger you should have taken that according to our rules but even if you didn't and you waited for slope right uh you could have caught the other ones look even even if you just waited for the best conditions possible you would have caught the most recent one and and that's the thing it's not about how many trades you can catch it's a matter of catching the ones with the highest probability uh of success why because when you're training with trend and momentum um more than half the battles won before you take that trade but they're so much safer they're so much safer this one after this move it was already uh, on the run here very popular we catch this last one and and i mean it it just makes up for so much lost time right it's so much easier um ronnie is saying does it work on forex absolutely uh we can look at several let's look at usd cad for example forex that's this is the daily chart let me know if you want to see something else let me zoom out here on the daily doesn't look that great right now let's look at weekly yeah that looks pretty decent um it depends on what time frame you, you trade let's look at the japanese yen here there we go let's zoom out a little it looks like it's calling them pretty nicely it caught pretty much every move here on the usd uh, uh japanese y uh japanese yen let's look at the euro <clears throat> there it is just about anything it, it took many many years what, what took so long for me to put this together was the fact that i was trying to minimize risk without capping the upside that was the real challenge here you know the bulk of the system came together within about two weeks but then i spent the better part of the next 20 years trying to tweak it and come up with a way where i could catch the big moves without taking the big moves against me because usually when you're trading risk and reward go hand in hand right the more risk you take the more you get rewarded sometimes but you know you, you got to take those beatings to to capture those returns well what veracity does is eliminate the beatings and only highlight those bigger runs Th that's the main thing um a few of you are asking for futures contracts so let's look at crude oil crude oil has been doing really well lately right but let me show you something on crude oil first of all this is the daily chart and you can see how well it's been picking off these symbols lately. Even if I, I scroll back, it doesn't matter what where you go to. But remember when crude was trading over $100 here, right? And then it, it dropped down to 40 and then to 26? Well, it captured that. It captured that move. And again, you may not see a lot of slope here, but there's one rule that we have that we teach you in the in the class that comes along with the indicator that would have allowed you to take that okay um it captures the big moves it captured the the most recent move right here it works extremely well and again it doesn't matter what market whatever but you still you still want to look back whenever you see a setup and say does this work well on this particular market yes or no so um and you know Here's another thing. I, I know a lot of traders who like to take big positions on gold for the long run, right? If you're a gold trader, okay, and you like to trade the big swings, the big move, you, you want to know when the market has shifted 
right? To the long side or the short side, those major market turns for gold. Have a look at gold here on a monthly. Okay. Let me go to the monthly chart of gold. <clears throat> Throughout this run, that's where all the money was made on gold. That's where gold got popular. It caught that move. More recently, it's been selling off. Now, now there is no trade. Whenever you see those black and white bars, that means we're not in the trade. And gold is on the cusp of a major move. I've been talking about this with our members. It's on the cusp of a major move. It's just not quite there yet, okay? Um, but Veracity will alert you to when it is, okay? Um, now, um, Debbie's asking, can you show an example of a failed indication? Oh, there, there are, there are absolutely losing trades. I mean, if you look at here at, at gold in here, when it called this drop right in here, um, on December of 2013, you can see that a few months later, it got us out here. You would have actually taken a loss in here. Okay. Because you would have gotten in at the bottom of this bar and gotten in on back up here. But it would have been a small loss. And that's the real key. You will have losers. I'm not saying by any means that this is 100% accurate. It is not. But what it does do very well is limit your losses and allow your winners to run. So the formula that you want as a trader, what you want to see on your, on your spreadsheet of, of wins and losses is you want to see... A, more winners than losers, but B, you want to see bigger winners than losers. Because in the long run, if, if you have more winners than losers and your winners are much bigger than your losers, you, you can't go wrong with that math. I, I traded many years ago shoulder to shoulder with a guy who had a 38% win rate. That's all. 38% of his trades were winners, okay? And 62% were losers. But his winners were much, much bigger than his losers, and, and he made millions. And here with Veracity, I can tell you, you're going to have a much higher win rate than 38%, okay? But it's still going to do a very good job of limiting your losers without capping your upside. Now, I'm getting close to running out of time, and I, I do want to switch it back to Jeff. Um, I'm going to ask Jeff to show you um, a couple of other components to this indicator that should not be overlooked, that really, really are important. One of them I'm just going to bring on briefly here is the expert commentary. And the reason why I love this, it really helps with the discipline aspect of trading. This is like having me there holding your hand throughout the life of the trade. Okay. And he'll go over it in detail. But you see on the far right candle here, there's this little uh, black arrow. Um, so now that there is no trade setup or anything happening, you look over on the expert commentary and there's a description of the indicator a bit about myself and trading wins etc but there's this blank space here in between that's because there's nothing to do this is where the instructions would be if you click over a bar back in here for example now it'll tell you exactly what's going on and if it's has to do with a long trade it'll be in green writing if it has to do with a short trade it'll be in red but it not only will tell you when it's setting up and when to get in, but it'll talk about which option you want to buy if you're an option trader, et cetera. I'm going to let him explain more. There's also a fantastic scanner that goes along with this. Um, but before I pass it over to Jeff, uh, I just want to mention that if you are an options trader, you're going to really love this because not only can you limit your risk even more, but you can really leverage the upside with your trades. And if you're not an options trader, I encourage you to learn as much about options as possible because options along with veracity, uh, honestly, is a fantastic combination. So thanks for uh, for listening to me for the last 45 minutes. I'm gonna pass it over to Jeff and he's gonna explain the rest of the indicator and how you can get it. Jeff? All right, thanks. Great job today, Vince. I really appreciate your coming in uh, and your time. Uh, very very no, nice i no problem i'll, I'll I, stick around if there's any questions cool awesome and uh let's go ahead and get in here you guys will be happy to know i figured out what was going on with my computer it actually needed to be plugged in <laughs> so <laughs> so we're back um i do kind of want one of the things that uh, vince specifically wanted he did a great job of showing the charts 
that kind of stuff. He wanted me to show you exactly how the explorations actually work and kind of how those, how to go through those. Uh, it's a very, very easy process. Um, I did want to kind of just point out, um, uh, Johan saying, thank you, great presentation, uh, Vince. So uh, that's good to hear. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I just want to kind of point out a couple of things on the chart. You'll notice um, when we have the setup, and I think Vince talked about this, you actually get the setup alert that comes right on your chart. And then if it triggers, you actually get the arrow, and of course you get the exit. I just wanted to kind of show you one of my favorite things about Metastock is the way that the commentary actually works. And um, um, uh, I really like the way that it, we kind of integrated it uh, with the Metastock platform. And so I'm going to show you exactly kind of what we do with this thing. Uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this commentary over to the setup day, just so you can see what we would tell you on the day of a setup. And basically, um, the green part is the part I'll have you focus in on. Basically, it's saying the veracity indicator is currently signaling a long trade setup. To confirm this is a valid buying opportunity, you must wait for a trade above the setup bar's high to confirm a buy signal. So right here, it's just saying, okay, well, we see this setup that's happening. If the bar trades up above the high, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get you along or we're going to give you a buy signal. And then, of course, if that happens, uh, if we go over to the next day on the chart, you'll see, okay, well, it's currently signaling a long position. Uh, if you're interested in taking advantage of this opportunity, it kind of gives you some adv uh, advice in terms of what options you could look at or how you could buy the stock. It even kind of gets into the deltas that you should be looking at with the trade. And it tells you exactly how you should get out of the trade. So once you're long, you can hold the position until the indicator identifies an exit point or exit the position at least two weeks before the options expiration date. So. There's not a lot of guesswork that kind of goes involved in this. Once you get long, he's t uh, what Vince has done, and he worked really hard on this, but he's telling you exactly what deltas you should look at, what expirations you should look at, and exactly how to exit the position. Uh, when you're in the position, it will, current, it will give you a current stop position. So this will move up as the stop inside the pro, uh, program moves up. And uh, you'll notice right here we've got a risk of 246.10. So we have a stop loss that we're moving up uh, in conjunction with this trend. And I really like that as well because every uh, money management is such a key part of uh, the program and uh, any good trading system, money management is almost half of the battle. Of course, when the exits come in, it's going to tell you exactly to get just to get out. There's not much to tell you at that point. You can, you can close a position. Uh, the thing that Vince wanted me to specifically show you, though, is how the scanning works. So I'm going to come back into the Power Console. Again, this is if I had a few favorite power tools in Metastock. Uh, the expert advisor commentary would be probably the first, uh, and the second would be this, uh, the ability to go in and just find setups. So when we, when we start talking about uh, the Vor Vora Veracity system, uh, basically you've got uh, two scans that you can run. So you have the setups and you have the signal. Okay, the setup is basically what it's going to find uh, for you is where the triangles occur. So if you want to build a watch list, you want to be able to trigger in just exactly what happens. You can run a scan for the setup and just watch for the trigger to happen. Um, if you're trading during the day and you want to just find stuff that's already triggered in today, you can run the signal scan. It'll uh, Now, I say daily, but you can run it on an intraday basis. You can run it on a weekly basis. You can run it kind of however that you want. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we'll go ahead and take this CPS scan out. I'll do this uh, Veracity setup scan. We'll scan for a setup. Okay, again, I'm going to use our pre-filtered list of the local data. I'm going to go ahead and start that and just kind of let you know, let you see kind of exactly how long it takes. Now, um, one of the things they just improved gr dramatically. You'll see, you can see right here, this is chunking through this really fast, uh, but. Uh, as soon as it's done, we'll have a kind of a result that we can look through. Right now, we're scanning through about 2,500 or so stocks. So we're going to go ahead and run those. Again, um, if you're international and you want to be able to scan for these types of setups on an intraday basis, you're certainly welcome to do that. Uh, we only cover about 200 exchanges. So regardless of where you are at in the world, you're going to be able to find the scans that you want. So out of the 2300 and uh, out of the 2600 or so,
There's about 2,300 that, that were rejected. Uh, for setups, we have about 151 that happened. Uh, this would be on Friday, obviously, because we were scanning the most current bar. Uh, we can sort these if we're looking for kind of a long entry. Uh, we can actually sort this. If it has a one in this column, it's a long setup. If it has a zero in this, uh, or a one in the short column, it's going to be a, um, a short setup. Okay. One of the things Vince talked about was the slope. Okay. And we do have a bit of a calculation that tells you exactly what the slope of that moving average is. Uh, it, uh, and I don't remember the exact details, but the higher the number, the bigger the slope is going to be. So if you want to look at, at, at long positions that have the best slope upward, a, a longer number or a bigger number in this column would indicate that the slope of that moving average is going up faster. Okay. Um, so again, we ran a setup scan. Okay, the stock that came back that had the highest slope was this uh, was Aqua Metals. If I want to, I can just highlight this. I can open it up from the chart. If you want to, you can save it as a list and kind of go through them one at a time. Go ahead and open up the chart for um, for uh, Aqua Metals. We'll take a look at what it looks like. What I want to do, uh, if you're not familiar with Metastock, I just have to apply the Veracity template at this point. So I'll go ahead and go to my list of templates right here. Uh, I'm going to go down to the Bora Veracity. I'll go ahead and apply that to a chart. And now I can kind of take a look at this chart. Uh, Vince said you wanted to look at. You'll notice we have a setup alert. Okay, we did have a little bit of a trigger, uh, came back and exited out right here. Wasn't a bad trade, wasn't horribly great, uh, but now we're getting another setup entry. So if we're looking at this one, what we're gonna be doing based on the, the commentary I read you just a minute ago, is you'd be looking to enter when it goes above this, uh, this bar's high uh, by a couple pennies. So uh, tomorrow, if we wanted to buy this, we'd be looking at a, a, an entry of about 383. Um, you can also kind of go in and look how it, it's worked historically. Again, this is on a daily basis, uh, and it's had some really good signals to the short trend here as well. Okay, but that's how it works. It's, it's very, very simple. Uh, again, just to kind of reiterate with the scans, we did the scan for the Veracity setup. Uh, if, you, if you're more looking for something that you can take action on right now and not wait for it to go up, basically the scan that you would use is the signal scan. It's that easy. And we could run that as well, go ahead and start it. Uh, they did a pretty massive user interface change to this. Now, you'll notice I'm running both of them on accident, but they did a fairly massive uh, user interface to this scanner. You can see much more visually how far it's going. You'll notice it's kind of chunking through all 2,600 stocks pretty fast. It's going to run the setup scan, and then it's going to run the signal scan. And um, you'll notice that you can also look at the reports while the scans run. Okay, well, that's as simple as it is. Um, let me kind of go back into my PowerPoint. Okay, uh, included with this is the Veracity Temp Outlet. You get a setup exploration, you get a trigger exploration, you get the expert advisor that gives you the detailed commentary, tells you when to get in, when to get out, uh, what options could to take if you're looking to buy options on an aggressive basis. All that kind of stuff is all included into in this in this product. Uh, and this product's been very, very well. I, I noticed a couple of you have pointed out in the chat that you use it and like it, and, and thank you for using it. Um, we do offer this on a one-time cost. Uh, it's normally $2,000, $1997. Um, if you buy just this at the summit, you'll pay $999. Okay. It does come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. It also includes uh, uh, access to Metastock, so you can kind of uh, well, start playing with it. Also includes some training that Vince put together uh, that's automatic. Uh, it's under your download. There's a little link that goes off to his courses section, and you fill out a little registration form on his site, and it'll give you access to a full training class. So not only are you getting the add-on as part of that, you're also getting access to a full training session. And um, I'm sure you liked what Vince had to say today, and uh, uh, he does a really, really good, thorough job of explaining all aspects of the, the thing in that training class. So in any case, I would recommend that you get it as part of the Trader's Toolbox. Uh, we had Steve Bigelow in a few minutes ago, uh, very popular add-on, uh, normally uh, $4.99, actually, uh, $19.95 uh, for Voracity. We have Barry Burns on in just a second here talking about his Top Dog Toolkit. Uh, then we're going to have Rick Sadler. So these are uh, these are this
this is a list of probably uh, my most favorite add-ons for Metastock today. But if you bought all of them, you're going to get them uh, for about 29. Uh, if you bought them all separately, you'd get them all for $2,900. Uh, the price that we're asking for uh, includes two years of stocks and commodities. It includes access uh, to Metastock real time for three months, as well as Metastock Zenith for three months. It includes an Unleash the Power of Metastock um, course. It includes a Vince War course. It actually also includes a, a course that I put together with Steve Bigelow as well. So you're going to have a lot of training. Normally, all of that stuff separately would be $4,000. Uh, here at the summit, we're going to do it for $19.36. So you have to do this on the phone or by chat. Uh, give us a call, 800-882-3040, or you can visit us online at metastock.com slash sales chat. There's one thing that I want to kind of talk about as well. Uh, uh, well, I remember it. Today, at the end of the day, we're going to actually give away uh, three real-time subscriptions to Metastock with data. So three three month subscriptions uh, to be kind of completely accurate. So we want you to stay all day. Um, if you go ahead and get this, uh, we'll add another three months to your subscription if you win. So don't use that as a reason to wait. Uh, but we just wanted to kind of uh, somebody said we should do some prizes for everybody to for coming in today. I thought it was a good idea. We're going to do it. So 1936 is your total price. That's going to have everything you need. Uh, tons of uh, training to help you get started around the different add-ons and around using Metastock. Uh, give us a call. 800-882-3040 or uh, visit metastock.com slash sales chat. They can help you get going. Okay. We'll take a minute here. I'm just looking at the time. We're doing better than we were uh, an hour ago. Um, Stocks and Commodities, I want to thank them for uh, for sponsoring the event. Uh, you can get a free issue. I'm going to go ahead and just paste this in the chat room real quick. I think it's still on my clipboard. Um, uh, take advantage. It's not still in my clipboard, but take advantage of this free issue. Uh, I get stocks and commodities delivered in the mail to me every month, and it's such a great magazine. You know, um, it's such a great way to make sure that you're staying current and relevant, and that you're continuing an education process. Uh, I love the magazine. I've been getting it uh, for 21 years or so now, ever since I started here. So um, I'm glad they're sponsors. Uh, take advantage of it. Uh, and also, again, if you get that trader's action patch, they're actually going to give you two years of the subscription as part of it. So uh, thank you uh, to Stocks and Commodities for sponsoring the event. I will paste that that little bit.ly link. It just goes to Stocks and Commodities uh, website, uh, but they had a fairly long link. So I put together the bit.ly link uh, so that it would be a little bit easier to use. Um, 